and recording. Good morning. Well, that sounds a bit croaky. Good morning. Come on in. Welcome to the Shack Shack. It's Friday. Friday already. Where did that week go? God, I've got an itchy nose. What does that symbolise? I've got an itchy nose, it symbolises. Come on in. Grab a seat. Bring your tea. I've got a mega cup today. You rock. You sure do. Good morning. Stuart's in the building with us today. So if you have any questions, Stuart's your man. We're going to have a good hour. I can feel it in my waters, so to speak. Oh, yeah, that's appropriate too. <laughs> Come on in. Grab a seat. Good morning, Sheila. Hello, Anne. Good to have your company. We're early to the party. We'll let a few others turn up first before we start. Hey, how's it going? Hmm? Everything all right? Don't worry. It'll be fine. It will be okay. It will. We cannot control what's going on out there. We really have no control. L less than no control, if that's possible. You know, we can't do anything about what other people are doing. We can't do anything about any of that, can we? I learned a long, long time ago, right, that it is never the event, but how you respond to it that will ultimately affect you. Mm. I'll say that again really slowly. It is never the event. It is never what's happening or what happens. It's how you react to it. That's what will affect you. You see? And once you realise that, it does not make sense. You know? I could scream at the news right now. I could scream at the television. I could scream and scream. And you know what? All it would do is freak Dave out. <laughs> <laughs> Freak Dave out and give me a headache. So, you cannot, you cannot control what others do. This is never the event, but how you respond to it that will ultimately affect you. And so I find myself often in my head going, good thing I know what to do then, isn't it? Huh? It's just as well I'm in this camp and not in that camp. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. It's just, we have got to have a bit of faith. Trust. It'll be fine. They know what they're doing. They do, actually, I think. I think they do. The scientists do. So, today, we're going to have a really cracking doodle session because today's the day we ink. Hallelujah. Yeah, we like the inking, don't we? I do. I like the inking. It's where things all come together and it starts to look like something. For the last couple of weeks, because we only meet on a Monday, Wednesday and a Friday now, everything takes not twice as long, but in the calendar, it takes twice as long because we're not pumping at it. We're not, <laughs> we're not pumping doodling every single day, which I still think is a good thing, don't you? Anyway, come on in and smile. Welcome to the Shack Shack. Is it 10 o'clock yet? Nearly. Nearly 10 o'clock. All will be well. One day at a time. That's what we talked about on Wednesday, wasn't it? One day at a time. That's all we can do. And today, I had a great day on. We had a lovely time on Wednesday. We did. Pottery went well. Pottery went really well, actually. Yeah, I like that. I like, it's like you and your own little bubble there at the wheel. Um... Yeah, and then um, and then we had, we celebrated my mum's birthday, which was fab. Glad we did. Maybe we can't next week, but you know what? It is what it is. It is what it is at the moment. So we're glad that we could. Come on in. Good to have your company. I think we can start, don't you? Let's have a quick sip of tea, and then we'll get cracking. So much going on at the moment at Clarity got a big thing coming up next week so there's a lot of busy a lot of prep a lot of running around a lot of meetings a lot of planning yeah so look forward to that you will love it especially if you're a parcher it's all good uh what else is there to tell you oh before i forget friday today 12 o'clock yeah groovy download 
And what that is, what that is, is that lovely Hazel, she prepares little weekly projects for you. So if you were thinking of getting into parching or parchment art, you know, with the groovy plates, um, this, is a, this is a good stepping stone. There's never been a better time than now, really, if you like that kind of artwork. You know, if it appeals to you, you'd love it, you know. Um, and and so at 12 o'clock, what Stuart Saman, he's the, he's the, he is our friend in the in the building who who downloads and um, he will give you the link to that groovy download and to all of them. He'll show you where they are because they're really good projects. And I was talking to, to um, Grace last night in New York and she's got a little plan for Saturday around that. So that would be good. That would be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're here to keep you company. That's what the meetings have been about. We're here to keep going and to keep you company and to just get through this one day at a time. One doodle at a time, one postcard at a time. Monday, we start on the postcards again. Yes, we do. Aren't we glad there are so many of them? If you haven't got them, get them. If you haven't got them, get them. There you go. And then you can join in. And then we'll just start colouring again. We've done some fabulous work so far, haven't we? Yeah, when we were over at Sheila's having um, our meal, that's my brother's girlfriend. Well, she she kindly put the the beautiful meal together for us. Morning, Sheila. I bet you're there, and uh, she's a great cook. And um, and on her wall, because she's in the shack shack, she joins us every day religiously. And um, and on her wall, her artwork was framed. Beautiful. She's in the design team, so she's good. She's good from the get-go. She's in the groovy design team, but her colouring is just wonderful. So, yeah, it's lovely to see it on the wall, pride of place, you know. Have you got yours on your wall? Have you have you started framing your things too? It feels good when you when you when you crack that nut, you know, and you get over yourself and you start celebrating your creativity. It's good. It's a good thing. It's a good thing, one day at a time. Right, so let's have a look at where we were, where we're going today, right? So we'll have a little recap, just in case somebody's just joined us and thinking, where are they? What are they doing, right? Let's just have a little recap, shall we? So, so we started out with this wheel, didn't we? Do you remember? We started out, now actually, rewind a little bit first. The wheel, I doodled this thing. Um, it was like a partial art mandala. That's where, that was the sketch. And the whole plan a couple of weeks ago was to make a mandala and then put the seasons inside them. And to do that, we needed this wheel, which our Lucy created for us. And Stuart can give you the download. We've split this download from the baubles, so you just have to print off that one. If you haven't got the printer, you don't know how to download it, then do me a favour, just just um, private email Stuart, he will help you and we can send it to you, it's not a problem, just an envelope and a postage stamp, we'll pay for it, it's free, okay, but it's enough help when you when you want to make mandalas, I tell you, you won't be able to do it without it really, not easily. Now, so then what we did, hang on a minute, we did the mandala, so I've got mine here already ready to go and the idea was we, we transferred them, didn't we? But before we did that, we started on our uh, on our seasons. So I've got my skeleton one, right? We decided, you remember, we made a tree that we liked. And then we said, we're gonna roll that tree through the seasons. And we did spring with the fields and the leaves and the bunny rabbits. Then we did summer when it was in full bloom. Can you see that okay? And the summer we had all the, f the foliage and the, and the, the bales and the big flowers in the front. And then we moved into autumn. Is that autumn? Yeah. And the autumn one, let me change my glasses, that'll help. The autumn one, there we go, that's better. Falling leaves and toadstools and little birds. And then the winter one, finally, the winter one, let's grab a bit of copy paper. Hang on, can't see it. And the, we've done it all on tracing paper, haven't we? And then the winter one, that was the one with the snow and the, and the little fence. So those were our four. And then we decided, right, so we had, we had the mandalas on one piece of tracing paper and then we had the, 
the seasons on the other pieces of tracery. And then on Wednesday, we started knitting them together. Do you remember? And so that's where we are today. And we, excuse me, we did two, we had two things on the go. I showed, excuse me, I showed you first of all, how to use a light wave, you know, with a light panel. Let's just go, let's just have a little look before I tear everything up. So when you use a light panel, which is really a cool way to go, you see, you can literally just trace, you put it, you put your mandala underneath, you put your paper or your card, and we establish that you can see through card, and then you just trace the bits you want, right? And so I ended up, I, I, I was able to do two things today. The light wave is a really easy way. We use them a lot. Um, don't buy, I said, didn't I? Don't buy it till next week. If you're going to buy it, don't buy it today. Right. If we have a look now, you can see here, right, it's sort of partially penciled. And I did it, I inked the middle bit, and then I, I decided to partially pencil it. I'm, I'm not finished yet. Right, so so that was the that was the first way to go, and that was with um, so that was with a light wave, okay, and then the other way, which is the way a lot of us ago have gone as well. I decided to show you both options in case you don't have a light pen a light tablet, um, was with the transfer, which is the traditional way if you like. So we'll put I want to put that there so I don't lose it, and then this one. This is cool. So this was where we took the mandala, we flipped it so that the pencil was on the underneath and then we pushed up our graphite or our pencil through. So this way you were able to create a transfer. Look, I'll show you if I turn it. I know most of you have already finished and I'm still licking along, limping along. Look, see, so this is transferred and now I've just got to pencil it or ink it in. And you can see what I've done is I've picked bits and parts. I haven't done the whole mandala. Right, so, and you're right, I agree, it looks a bit ropey, but it's never over till it's over. It's like lots of things. It's like most things actually, you know. If you're, if you're, um, if you're baking a cake and you're still just about to crack the eggs in, you can't say this is rubbish, can you? You haven't finished it. I haven't got in the oven yet, right? And so this is the same thing. It's not over until it's over. Right, I must ask, is the volume all right? And is the sound okay? Sound is good, thank you, Stuart. Right, so what we wanna do now, I want to show you what, what my finished one, because it will give you, I think it's always a good idea to see where we're headed. Two hours ago, when I, I got up early and because and, I've always got to be ahead a little bit because I'm the driver, right? I, I did this and I want to show you it, now it's finished. So I inked it, I rubbed out all the pencil work and then I added shade and an, a little flash of colour, not much, see? Now, isn't that lovely? See, I love that. I love that. I just think it looks delightful. And and I could and I and I just wanted to show you if you go up real close on the scattered one at the end. See where it's just you see how you just literally stop midstream. It's like it's just old. And there's a little flash of red on the robins and then I put a tiny little flash of red on the beads. See the little beads? There you go. So it's not massively coloured, but it adds a little something, doesn't it? I like it a lot. And I could sit here and carry on for hours. But we'll, as far as the colouring goes, I used, if you want to know, uh, if you like that com combination, very, very neutral, really. I used sky blue. You know that set of 12 that... Um, polychromos that I'm always banging on about. These are mostly from there. So I've got the sky blue and the, my, my cream. Oh no, it's ivory, ivory. If you see, it just tones it down. It takes the whiteness out of it, really. So ivory is just off white, isn't it? So I've got the sky blue, which is one, four, six, 103 the ivory, and then guess which one I used to shade. Of course I did. My warm grey two, 271. And that was pretty much it. That, plus a little bit of darker grey, which is also in that set of 12, um, 
warm grey for just to get a little bit of shadow in these areas here but in the end what's lovely is when you look at it it, it looks really um, if you look at it from the side you'll see it looks really layered and you know like dimensional it looks like that that disc there is sitting on top doesn't it so yeah so that's what we're looking for is that kind of three-dimensional effect that looks quite tatty it's a skill but it's fun to do as well isn't it you know and if you don't like that look because a lot of people want perfect like I want it all I like symmetry I like it all lovely then you've got it all lovely because you did the whole mandala you just use as if you want to use all of it then be my guest it's your art remember it's your art and I tell you that one other thing that when I was colouring in, I, I got a little cushion, you know, like the princess and the pea, you know, I put a few sheets of um, copy paper underneath my artwork and it, it kind of padded it a bit. And I found that the colours, they, they were just, they went on softer, you know, it wasn't quite so hard. It was a little bit more of a cushion. So try it, take it out, put it back, see what you think. Um, so that's that's the bottom that's the the end result that's what we're going for so now let me just have a little thing are you ready oh come on stop rushing gray this is me with my telly hat on and it's not telly is it steps away from the artwork that would be just my luck throw tea all over it hey calm down i'm like a brain gun at the moment it's only because there's so much going on at work and then telly tomorrow, television at 11 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 3 o'clock, you know, got to prep for that. It's all right, though. Keeps me out the pub. <laughs> I don't go to the pubs anyway. Right, shush. OK. So now we've got that much and we've done that much. Now I've got choices. I could leave that attached. See, I was I, I had it like this, and then what I was doing was I was keeping it attached so it was in the same place. So as I as I was going along, I was like, do I like it? Do I want to add to it? Do I like do I want to add a bit there? What what am I doing? Yeah. But now I'm pretty I'm 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 happy with what I've got. So actually I think I'll get rid of the masking tape now. Okay. And now I've got my, my masterpiece, right? This is my, my template, isn't it? So that will go back in a protective sleeve for sure. And then the next time I'll turn it over, go again, flip it that way, go again. I'll be able to use this multiple times, multiple times. I know a few of you clever folks, you, you scanned your artwork in and now you can just pull it out anytime you like, which is also very clever. Um, I just enjoyed the process, to be honest. See, we worked on card on this one, didn't we? So, shall we get started with the inking? Hey, do you fancy? Let's get rid of all our bits, tidy up a little bit, and we're going to go for the inking. Who's still with me on this? I know loads of you finished. You got impatient. But that's all right. You do what you need to do. If you are at a point where you, you're in the zone, then you carry on. You carry on. Don't worry. Don't wait for us. No, I'm joking. It's fine. It's fine. It's absolutely great. I love it. I love that you're motivated, that you feel that motivated, that you want to crack on. It's great, isn't it? Now, inking, what are we going to use? We used pencils, we're going to use these things, micron pens. I'm going to go with the very, very finest one on these because there are about seven in the box. How many have I? I've only got six here. I've always nicked them. There we go, 005, 005. It's the very fine one. I'm going to use that one. I, I got it out of here, obviously, didn't I? I did. Okay, so let's use this. And we'll get started. What you want to do though, what you want to do is get a little bit of copy paper, just a little, little piece like that, just a scrap. Because you, you don't want to be scribbling on your masterpiece. So keep a piece of scrap handy just to try your pencil like that. Look. So you just have a bit of scrap near here and then you can just try your pencil. Make sure, thing with these pencils, uh, 
pencil. Barbara Gray, Micron Pen 005. Let me show you this slowly. If you go like that and you twizzle, if you've got, if it's clogged up a little bit because you haven't used it for a while, that's the way to unclog it. And then also, you really, you don't press, you guide it. You just, you literally run it through. And on, even on a pen like this, there are different, different, depending on how much pressure I, I use, I've got different thicknesses as well. I can go, I can go thick, I can go thinner, I can go thinnest. You know, it just depends how hard I press, okay? Just push the ink along. Try it on a scrap first so you get your eye in. And then what we're going to do now is ink this lot up. So my suggestion is that we start with the frame round here and we go for it, right? So let's have a let's have a look. I, I think I could come in a little bit tighter. Shall I come in a bit tighter? Right, hang on a minute. You want to see? Do you want... <laughs> it's chaos round here. <laughs> It's unbelievable. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll go out so you can see, you can get a peek. Because Friday's blog, a private peek, right? So never seen before the state of this behind here. Right, let's have a look what's actually going. Because that's the thing, isn't it? When you're, on, when you're on a TV screen or on a screen like this, you only ever actually see. Look, I could be wearing my pyjamas underneath. You don't know. I'm, I think I might do when it gets cold. Right, see, so all you can see is this. But you can't see all... All, all this crap, all this stuff everywhere, right? Which is shambolic, right? Absolutely shambolic. I don't know why I'm tidying up quickly now. Right, so watch. When I pull the camera out a little bit, the overhead, camera number two. Look, hang on. Look, look as it gets... <laughs> That's as far as I can go out. So here we have, right, we've got more pencils than you could possibly ever want. You've got, we've got ink pads. We've got, oh, you don't, you can't see beyond this. Look, we've got artwork for the TV. These are the, these are the, um, the beautiful stamps that I'm doing tomorrow morning at 11. I've got to show them in a minute. They're lovely. Tiny little things. Look, beautiful. Right, we've got them. We've got pencils. We've got ink. We've got that. We've got, I wish I could show you around the back here. It's, it's, it carries on. Take that and then replicate it behind me. It's absolutely unbelievable what goes on. And I, and I know when you, when you do TV, it's always like that. It, in any studio, it always looks so professional from, the, from what you're looking at. And then behind the scenes, it's like bang. <laughs> it really is. So, all you need to know is that this bit is lovely. <laughs> this is the only bit that matters. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. It's creative mind at work, apparently. Do you agree with that? There are those that would say that you need a, an empty desk to be effective. That's me out the wi That's me out the window then. Right. Are you ready? Let's get going. And we're going to start in the middle, and we're going to. Make sure our pen's all right. And then we're gonna go. Make sure you've got your right glasses on. Right. Correct glasses, Dame Edna's. Right, get in, comfortable, and then off we go. And we're gonna start with the inside, and we're gonna turn our art as we go. Right, here we go. So we'll start on this edge here, and then round we go. And we'll do... Try and breathe while you're doing it, Gray. Right, and then as you come round. This is the, the inside frame. Thing is, when we add a bit of colour as well, it does tone it down nicely. It 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 it, it t tones it down. It mutes it a little bit, so then you don't have to. It's not too severe, you know. You, otherwise, when it's black and white, you can see every detail, can't you? Right. Let's go round again now. There we go. Easy now. Once you get your eye in, just got to relax into it, haven't you? There we are. Look out the way.
Okay, it's looking good. Can you see what I'm doing? Are you on it? I wonder how many of you actually do this with me and how many just watch and then and then catch up afterwards. Hey? It's, it's, you've got to do it the way you feel comfortable doing it. Some people like working with me, other people like doing it later. Right, now we're going to go around the third wheel. Let's do the third one. See, once you've got your, your artwork in, your, your, your line art, the rest is easy, isn't it? Just tracing it over now. I'm not pressing hard either. I'm just gliding. Just gliding along. Oh, Barbara. Glide all... Try and glide in the right way. Right. Just got to keep your eye on the road ahead. There you go. That's the trick. If you keep your eye... If I'm here, I'm looking here. And then what happens is the pencil... It does. It works. Try it in an, an experiment. Make a line. If you... It's like riding a motorbike. If you keep your eye on the wheel, it will wobble. If you keep your eye on the road ahead, you stop wobbling. How does she know this? <laughs> right, I screwed that bit up, but that's okay. Don't sweat the small stuff. Right, so we've done that and we've done that. My suggestion is that we do all the outsides. Let's do all the, the shape. Let's get the shape in. And then we can go back and do the detail, okay? Let's go all the way around and do all the partial art parts that we actually want to include. And then, when we've done that, we can go in and fill in the, the minute eye, can't we? Tip number one. Slow down. Tip number two. Turn the paper. Tip number three. Don't press too hard. Tip number four. Concentrate on what you're doing. There you go. Just focus on it. And it will come together so nicely, so quickly. Right. Next one. Circles. Let's do the circles. Have you done all your um, partial art? Have you done it all already? Let's have a look. It's going to be so pretty. There, and that one's the end one. Let's go around this side. Might as well finish this off as well. That'll do. Right. Now, let's do this one. Do you remember when we did this the first time around? We do it all in one direction. Do you remember? And then we go back and go back in the other direction. And we realised that that was definitely, or I certainly worked for me. Even when you're tracing, it works best. Here we go. Told you we'd whistle round this now. Not that it's a race, because it so isn't. It so isn't. It's the opposite of that. The reason we get together every other day is to calm down a bit, isn't it? Hey, you all right? Oh no, it's rubbish, isn't it? It's rubbish. Let's have a look. See, this is it. When you get into it. It really. So this one here, I've got a bit of a, what am I doing there? 
She doesn't know what she wants on this one, does she? I think I'm going to go... Yeah, I need to, I do need that line, even though it's sort of partial, because I'm going to do that bit off it. Now, next bit. OK, next outside ledge. Let's get all these in place, shall we? Can you imagine trying to do this freehand? Joke. And the other thing is, of course, if you if there was something that wasn't quite where you wanted it when you transferred your line up, you change it now, can't you? Yeah. It's good. It's all good. Now, let's have a look. Keep moving out a little bit further, don't we? See, I went out too far there and then I decided I didn't want to do that. So now I've got a bit of a mark there. But Listen, I'm doing this for the process. I'm doing this for the... For the... For the action. Not for the result, really. It's nice to get a result, but... I'm doing this more just to learn things and I do like, don't get me wrong, I like when I do that and go, yeah, bingo. But once I've once I've done that then, and I think, hmm, that's nice. I hope they like that. And then I put it in a file and then I think, hmm, what should we do now? That's the way I'm wired, you see? What should we do now? We've done that. They're loving that. And that's how it works. I suppose it's like... Uh, that's that's like a lot of us, isn't it? Done that. Move on to the next thing, don't we? Right, let's get inside now and let's do these these double lines. Don't press too hard. Just guide the pen round. Nice and fine. That's it. That's better. There we go. Be all right. Oh. Hmm. And then we've got, once we've done the mandala, we've got to do the picture, the seasons. Which one did you, I've got, um, I used spring in this one. And and winter in my finished one. I thought I'd change it up a bit, see what I could do with the colour. I like the winter one. Nice. Which ones did you use? Or which one did you use? I saw some of your magnificent artwork on um, Clarity Worldwide Core. A little bit tight, Ray. Never mind. <clears throat> okay. Um, yeah, beautiful artwork. Very lovely work. See, it's only because I'm going so fast, I keep careering off the line. Just slow down, and then straight away, got more control. See? As soon as you stop a bit, got more control. Right, let's go back in here now and let's get these dots in. Have you got enough room for the dots all the way around here? Just slowly like make a little row of dots. I didn't put the pencils in, I'm just I'm just eyeballing this one. How about you? Oh, hello. It's all right. <clears throat> it's not computer generated, Barbara. It's hand drawn. There we go. <laughs> when I'm doing, when I'm, when we're inking, I can I can talk more because I I don't have to concentrate too much usually. But this one's 
still <laughs> on this one's keeping me focused, I tell you. Here we go. It's all good. Have you got a 005? Have you got one of these? This is where you need one. Or a really, really fine pen. See how nice it looks though when it's done. You won't you won't actually feel the benefits of it until you rub out all the pencil work underneath. Hmm. Be all right. I spent the whole day in here yesterday on my own, getting ready for the TV show on um, on Saturday. And uh, that was nice. I mean, these stamps, you can't go wrong with them. They're so lovely to use. I, I, I quite enjoyed just, it's like pulling up the drawbridge and doing my own thing for a day. There we go, I've done that. So the next one we want to do is the one around the outside that looks like the quilting. Am I close enough for you? I can't get, I can't really go. I can do that though. Look, I can show you right up close what I've done so far. There. Does that help? It's going to be nice when it's done. <laughs> Have a look. There. Let's do the quilt one around the outside here. So we're going to go this way first. I think so, don't you? And breathe. Nice. That'll do. Cool. Very quiet today, aren't I? <laughs> I've been humming all week. I've been humming the song. Do you remember the song, Seasons in the Sun? We had fun, we had joy, we had seasons, or something like that. We had joy, we had fun, we had seasons in the sun. That's how it goes. We had joy, we had fun, we had seasons in the sun. Ba -da 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 I know what I was going to tell you about. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Lynn Fulcher and me when we got into trouble at school. Because, right, okay, ready. I, I reckon I can do this and talk at the same time. Right, shall I tell you a story? <laughs> mm, let me get that one right. Okay, and then we're going to go back around the other way, yeah? That looks nice. No, it doesn't. Not yet. Right, so Lynn Fulcher and I, so we would have been about, I don't know, 12, 13, that giggly age, right? Lynn and I went to school together and she was one of those friends, I don't know if you had one like this, all you had to do was look at each other and you just started laughing. You just had to, it was just funny. We, are, we, are, we cried and wet ourselves more than I could, it was just ridiculous for, with laughter. Just always just wheezing with laughter, legs crossed, and off we went again. So that was Lynn and me. And we so we had to do Miss Spanswick, she was the gym teacher and a dance teacher. Right. So we had to do a dance routine. There's a point to this story, to that song. We had fun, we had time, we had seasons in the sun. Right? We had to it was a really sad, it's a really sad song. <laughs> okay. That's the that was what I think Miss Spanswick was most upset about because it was supposed to <laughs> stretch us. S so anyway, <laughs> we had three weeks to prepare this um, this dance routine and we all split off into pairs, you know, and every time we had a dance lesson, we all did our little thing and then we had to give a performance. <laughs> And and the morning of the performance, <laughs> Miss Spanswick knew that we'd been larking about and giggling a lot because that's what Lynn and I did when we got together. We couldn't help it. Right? That was just the, one, that's the way it was. 
So she said, right, you two giggle pots, you can show us your performance first. I thought, oh, okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> and so, so we had to go in the middle of the hall and it was a big old Crimean, like big hall, right? And because uh, it was a, an old building, it was like from Fort Pitt was from the Crimean War. Florence Nightingale is one of the hospital rooms. Imagine that from the Crimean War. Yeah, so that was our, that was where we did our dance. And there were windows. It was hospitals, all windows, really big, tall windows. And then the gym benches were all along the sides like that. And it was quite an, you know, intimidating room, really. Old floor, wooden floor. So she said, right, you two, Barbara Gray, Lynn Fulcher, in the middle, show us what you can, what you've prepared. <laughs> so he said, all right. So we got in the middle. I've got to show you this. So what happened was we had, we had prepared, but we hadn't got very far, right? So the way it starts, I don't know if you know the song. Now let's do a bit of work. The way the song works, it goes, um, goodbye to you, my trusted friend. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye to you, my... I've got, to, I've got to show you. Goodbye to you, my trusted friend. Right, so what? that was as far as we got, really. So we'd spent three weeks. And we'd, what we'd done is we, we had this really arty idea that we were going to be opposite, like that, like, like in the fetal position on the ground, like that. And then, then the music starts. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Right? So as the music started, what was supposed to happen was we were supposed to come up like that, right, because she was opposite me, and we come like that, like a tree, okay, like the seasons in the sun, and then we come up, and then we'd go like that, right, <laughs> and then we had fun, we joy, we had fun, and then we'd start skipping around, right, anyway, we never actually got that far, <laughs> so we like that, dum, 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 dum. Dum, 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 dum. then as we came up, it goes, <laughs> Goodbye to you, my trusted friend. And then we looked at each other. <laughs> We've been together since we were nine or ten. And then we went back in our little in our little fetal position and we just stayed there laughing, right? And the music carried on and we were like this. <laughs> and then spans it goes, Come on then, carry on, stop wasting our time. And we were like, so then she started the music again. So he did the same thing. Got as far as goodbye to you, my trusted friend. And then back down we went again, right? <laughs> so we were in this fetal position. And then <laughs> and we couldn't stop laughing, right? And I could see her shoulders going, which made me worse. And I kept saying, come on then, go, go, go. And then we'd get as far as that and we'd look at each other and then we'd have to go back down again, right? And this man to me was doing her biscuit. She was shouting at us. <laughs> she turned the, turned the music off. She said, you two, you know, she called us all the names under the sun. Useless. Get to the side of the hall. Get to the side of the hall. You, you've got detention. We're gonna, I was, they, we were definitely going to go to the headmistress. All right, hang on. So we've got to do these bits now. This bit here. Okay. So we, do, we haven't got very far. All we've done is, goodbye to you, my trusted friend. And then by the time we got to we've known each other since we were nine or ten, we were on the way back down. <laughs> so, so she said, get to the side of the hall. So I jumped up. I jumped up and I, got, I went to the side of the hall and sat on the bench, right? <laughs> and when I turned around, Lynn, Lynn just stayed there. She didn't move. She just stayed there like that, right? And... And I thought, what's up with her? And then Spanswick, Miss Spanswick, she's going, Lynn Vulture, get to the side of the hall. <laughs> Lynn was like that. She wouldn't move. So I, I didn't know what was wrong with me, mate. I was just watching from the side with the other 36 people in the class, like, oh, God, this isn't going well. <laughs> anyway. Then, then the teacher, she got so angry with me. She grabbed her by the back. Of, you can imagine trying that now. She grabbed her by her gym shirt and she dragged... <laughs> she dragged her to the side of the class, right? And as she... And the minute she started dragging her... <laughs> 
I realised what had happened. So there was this great big long streak of a wet streak, right? <laughs> and as the teacher was dragging Lynn to the side of the class, she was just dragging this puddle, right? <laughs> anyway, as soon as I saw that, that was my lot then, right? <laughs> so then I was sat in a puddle as well. So <laughs> this teacher, then I wouldn't move either because I was raining with laughter. And so <laughs> we got detention, we got screamed at, <laughs> we got humiliated. But whenever I hear that song, right, all I, I just crack up laughing. And it's really sad. It's about someone dying and we had joy, we had fun, we had seasons in the sun. And then it goes, but, right? <laughs> we never got beyond this. And then down we went again. So sad song, not sad song, sad song, hilarious song. Yeah, apparently we climbed, we, was, we, we did try to learn the words. <laughs> Yeah, that was, and isn't it funny, all those years, I'm 61 years old, and I reckon that would have been 50, 50, nearly 50 years ago, and I remember, I remember it as if it was yesterday. It was one of the funniest things of my life. And when, and when that teacher grabbed hold of Lynn by the, by the collar and dragged her across the saw the pee. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Crikey. It was funny. Lynn Fulcher. I wonder what happened to her. <laughs> and I've never had a, a, a friend that I could laugh with. Oh, apart from Linda Williams. There's another one. Oh. <laughs> Oh, yeah. She's another one that I can laugh with like that. When it gets going, oh, mate. She's another one. I remember being in a lift with her in Slovenia. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. I can tell you now because this is this is just the info. We were, we were in Slovenia for this parchment um, week, right? It was a bit weird, but it was all right. It was enjoyable. It was lovely to have her company. Anyway, we were in this hotel and it was in a bit of a ropey area, but you know, it was, it was fine. It was where we were. And so in the evening we went next door because we thought, well, we're not quite ready to go to our rooms yet. So we thought we'll go and have a coffee next door or, you know, peppermint tea or whatever. <laughs> and, um, Oh, look, I've gone over the line. Ah, I shouldn't have gone over the line. That's me talking. Don't matter. You'll never know. Avoid this bit. <laughs> anyway, so we went in this building next door to have a drink. It was attached to the hotel. There you go. The clue was there. So I, I went up. Like, my Slovenian was better than Linda's. <laughs> so I went up to the bar, and I could see Linda at the end of the bar while I was ordering, and she kept doing this. She was like this. And I thought, what's up with her? And then I looked, and there was this doorway, and through the doorway there were these really raunchy pictures of naked women, and I was like, OK, right? Then we looked around and then we realised where we were in a knocking shop, right? We were in a, a what we would call a brothel. <laughs> in our anoraks. <laughs> Coming from a parchment week. <laughs> anyway, so we kept our we kept cool. And there was one, right? There was one bloke. He kept, <laughs> kept eyeing up Linda. <laughs> And if you know Linda, you'll understand this is never going to end well, right? So Splot, he definitely had, he had his eye on Linda. So we drank, our, we kind of, we just stayed. I said, don't panic, it'll be all right. Um, we'll just, 
stay sit, drink your tea, drink your coffee. We'll get out of it, and we'll get in the. We'll get in the. <laughs> we'll get. We'll get out of it at the earliest possible and inconspicuous moment. So. <laughs> So let me just concentrate a minute. What am I doing here? So we drank our tea and we realised that this was there was a lot of coming and going, a lot of activity going through that little door on the side. And we were like, mm -hmm. <laughs> and, then, um, and then we were like, in, we had to go out of that room, out of that place, and then in the front of the hotel and then to the lift to our room. And that was the other thing. You didn't realise that there wasn't a reception in the hotel. As you, as you actually, there wasn't a reception. As you went into our hotel, there wasn't a lobby. You went straight into the lift. The lobby was upstairs on the on the floor where we were. So we should have known, really. It all became, you know, like the the, the light went on as we were, <laughs> the longer we stayed there. Anyway, so... So we got out of this brothel and this, I said, come on, Linda, don't look. Stop looking at him. <laughs> it's, it's, not, it's not helping. So she goes, I can feel him staring. I said, well, stop looking back at him because you're giving him the wrong idea. <laughs> anyway, it's us two old birds. So we get. We get into the into the lift, right? <laughs> she gets in the lift. This is what happened. She got in the lift and I started laughing. So the door was like this. And I knew I had my legs crossed at this point. I thought if I move, game over, it's gonna be another Lynn Fulcher moment, right? So I thought, right, I've just gotta stay I've just gotta stand here with my legs crossed. <laughs> So Linda was on the inside of the lift with her legs crossed and I was on the outside staring at her. It was like, literally, it was like a, a deja vu. And this door kept, and this lift door kept opening and closing and opening and closing. And we were both standing there wheezing, bent over with our legs crossed. I don't know how many times this door opened and shut before I managed to shuffle into the lift so we could go upstairs. <laughs> But that, again, that was another one of those giggly girt moments that just, I'll never forget. <laughs> yeah, Linda Williams in a brothel. Cool, that was, that was funny. <laughs> so, <clears throat> anyway, it wasn't dissimilar to the, um, we had, joy, we had fun, really. <laughs> Just couldn't stop laughing. Do you have that? Do you have that with a particular person? I mean, nowadays I have it on my own. I don't even need anyone here. Look at me. Oh dear, oh dear. How's your inking going? I've gone a bit wobbly. I'm hanging, I'm doing, look, I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's do this bit. Okay, and then I can show you how I do the, the bits that disappear to nothing, because that actually makes quite a difference. So we'll go, we're going to do that bit there, aren't we? Let's do this here. This is nice. What I find as well is when you're doing this, sometimes you think, actually, I don't even want to do the bits around the outside. You know, that looks nice on its own. But if you wanted to stick to the plan, then you're going to put those leaves, those little leaves there, aren't you, like that? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> that was the same trip, right? Linda and me. We were in we went on a boat trip in the daytime. Because it was like um it went all around the river. It was like a moat, if you like. It it sorry, it went all around the city. Can't remember what town it was now. It's good though. And um so we went on a boat trip, we decided to do a bit of sightseeing. So we went on this boat trip, it was freezing. <laughs> And we sat up the front. We were the only ones on the boat. They, again, you know, we should have seen the sign, really. I thought, yeah, they must have seen us coming. 
flimming English tourists, idiots abroad again. Brits abroad. Hang on a minute, I'm doing this bit here. Right, I want to show you. So, on this one here, I'm just literally going to, I'm coming in from the outside. Like, and I'm, I'm flipping into the bit that's disappearing. See? So this again, this is going to be just, just disappearing. So you flick from the wall, if you like, from this bit out. And then now I'm just going to, just going to go like that. There you go. So it looks as if it's just disappeared. Um, yeah, so we were on this boat. Like I say, it was only us two and the, and the, and the boat, what would you call him? The captain. <laughs> so he took us. He took us on the on the on the the circuit, if you like. And um, there you go. That's nice. And uh, <laughs> it, it started. It first he brought. We were sitting. We were standing outside. Then he brought us two deck chairs. They are that, so we had two deck chairs, Linda, didn't we? on the boat so he gave us two deck chairs so we sat on the deck chairs at the front of the boat and he was on the inside giving us a tour giving us a guided tour over the megaphone but you couldn't hear it because the engine noise was so loud but he was trying hard anyway and then um oh and then he could see that we were we were freezing so he brought us blankets didn't he tucked us in linda do you remember <laughs> so it was us two sitting on this boat in deck chairs, on deck chairs, um, with blankets wrapped round our knees. And with, with a Slovenian barking in broken English, telling us what we, the different buildings that we were, because we asked him if we could have it in English. <laughs> we thought it'd be more useful. Um, but we couldn't hear a word he was saying because it was so loud. But again, it was so funny. We laughed until we cried on this boat. We laughed until we cried, Linda and I. But it was funny. I wonder, I bet she remembers it the same as I do. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, do you have a friend that makes you, when you get together, you just curl up at anything? I get it with my mum as well. We got that as well. We've got it too, actually. It's good for the soul after. Got to keep laughing, you know. Not at anything, not at other people's expense. I don't laugh at other people's misfortunes. I don't find that humorous at all, really. It doesn't do it for me. <clears throat> but when I get stuck in a, you know, it's like harmless laughter, isn't it? Silly kids, you know. Doesn't this look good? So you carry on. I'm going to come. Uh, a little bit missing there, see? <clears throat> it's coming this way. So you're going to keep going until you've actually inked up every last part of your art. Hmm? I've waffled for a whole hour nearly now. <laughs> It's all right though. It's harmless. It's all harmless. Yeah. Then Fulcher. It's a chemistry, isn't it? It's just the chemistry that you have with certain people. Oh, I'll tell you who else I've got it with my brother. I think I'm just a giggle pot. I think that's what it is. There you go. Doesn't that look nice when it's done? 
Mm. Starts to fill up really pretty. Yeah. We've used the really fine pen all the way around on this one. All right, let's see, because now we want to flick it. Does that sound bad, Barbara? We don't want to flick it off. We want to um, make it look as if it's disappearing like this. So we're just going to go flick like that, like that. And then, and then this bit, as you get to the bit where you're stopping it, just flick it. So you go like that until you get to the bit that you want to do. There you go. Sorted. And what have we got here? What have we got here? Oh, yeah, it goes like that. It's like a little swirl. That'll do with a little dot. And then a little fleur at the top. That'll do. Nice. See? And then, and then when you've got to let that dry, you've got to let the ink dry. It doesn't take long, a couple of minutes. But then you let the ink dry, and then we're going to rub out, get your old <clears throat> your pink eraser pencil, and then you rub out all of the... All of the pencil work see and then the, the bit in the middle this is the best bit the seasons bit which is yeah so then all I've got to do is just trace that in that'd be fine but I thought I would concentrate on the mandala <clears throat> concentrate on the mandala today and let's have another look at how we just get that the look as if it's disappeared so you're going to come up and then you flick and then we'll come up again and then we'll flick a bit more right and then we're going to come out here and then flick so it's like it's going to just disappear really it's only a trick it's nothing if you don't like it don't do it that's it. It's just something different, isn't it? We like a bit of partial art. Right. That'll do. I think the other thing to do is look at what you're doing as well as you're going through. You know. Check what you're doing every now and again. Question it. <coughs> so this one here is just going to go out like that. That'll do finished so it looks as if it looks as if if you can you got to squint a bit <laughs> to see this but it looks as if it was actually like as if i've rubbed out the doesn't it look really like there's a serious piece missing see that's the that's the object of the exercise is actually to make it look like now if i take my rubber i'll make sure it's clean though before I start, so it hasn't got any black on it or anything. Before I begin, see, and then if I take my, if I take the, the work away in the background now, from this bit, because let's say, let's assume I've done that bit now. I haven't done that yet, so I can't rub that out. I just want to show you how how good it looks when you take the. You've got to take the shade out, so that you can add the colour and the shade back in. Oh, not that one, Craig. Hang on. Oh, there must be a brush here somewhere, she said, scanning. Here it is. So I use a brush so that I don't flick there. See? And that, my friends, is the name of the game. There you go. See? Cool, isn't it? And then, I know, you think, well, why is that cool? If you, But when you add colour and it looks so nice, look so 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 really arty all right look at these bits here see where it's missing but if you like this full thing then of course that's what you should do you do what you like you do what you like cool i've enjoyed this morning it's nothing like a good old trip down memory lane and a laugh so 
let's have a look. Thank you, Stuart, for your help today. Um, I'll leave it there with the mandalas. That'll do. We've been, we've been, um, we've been doing seasons. We've been doing mandalas for a couple of weeks now. On Monday, we'll start with colouring. So get your colouring pencils out and your postcards. I haven't decided which one yet. I haven't thought about it. One day at a time. I'll know by Sunday and you'll certainly know by Monday. So we'll start at 10 o'clock in the morning on those. So do come to the party at 10 o'clock for that. Uh, what else? Television tomorrow, hochanda.com. I'm on at, um, oh, I'm on at 11 o'clock. Let me show you these lovely. These are lovely. Let me have a look. Look, these are lovely, but look how tiny they are. They're so, so cute. So these are sets of stamps. We've got, these are Mel, Mel Turner, our lovely friend Mel Turner designed these. And then this is really cool because look, you've got spare bulbs. <laughs> Always need spare bulbs at Christmas. That one's lovely. Changed it a bit. Jim and I worked on that. That's nice. See, and these ones here, they fill these ones. So that one fills that one, that one fills that one. That's a spare. That's just a nice one. That one is lovely, just a little, little mistletoe at the top there. Isn't that pretty? So this one here, it fills. See those three? They go there, 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 there. So that's what I'm going to show you. And the little berries. So it's very nice. They're very, very nice little stamps. So I'm on the telly tomorrow, uh, launching them at 11 o'clock. And then at 1 o'clock on the telly, I'm there as well on hochanda.com that's a very special show it's just one hour and it's the twas the night stamps and the groovy plates twas the night half price yep all 15 stamps and the um and the same designs in groovy that i drew many years ago there are 15 15 little images they're cute so that's at one o'clock and then at three o'clock Paul's going to take over and he's going to take these images that are in groovy and dyes, which are beautiful. So that's what he's going to do at three o'clock. So that's 11 o'clock me, one o'clock twas the night, me, half price. And then three o'clock, it will be um, Paul, lovely Paul, lovely, lovely, lovely. So there you go. That's Saturday sorted. What else would I be doing? And uh, and then we'll see you again on Monday at 10 o'clock. So be safe, have a good weekend, finish your mandalas. Please let, let us all have a look at your gorgeous work over on Clarity Worldwide. If you like the Shack Shack and you think you know somebody that could benefit from this, then like, follow and share. Let them in on it, you know. We're gonna be here for a while. We're gonna be here for a while, fellow Shackers, aren't we, hey? In the Shack Shack, Shackers. Um, and other than that, I think I've told you everything I want to. And uh, yeah, I don't think I've missed anything. Download, download at, um, at 12 o'clock, Groovy Download. Join in and have some fun. Okay, lots of love. Bye-bye now and thanks again, Stuart.